How do you clean or check a mass airflow sensor? A uh, mass airflow sensor is used on fuel injected vehicles to tell the computer how much air is going into the engine. Um, usually it's mounted uh, between the air filter assembly and the intake. Um, it has an electrical connection going to it and it'll be screwed into uh, this plenum work here uh, so that it's in the airflow. Um, now to check it uh, for, for cleaning purposes or, or for uh, inspection purposes, it needs to be removed. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to carefully disconnect the electrical connection um, by lifting up on the release tab and pulling it off and kind of set that aside. And then there'll be a couple of screws holding it in place. Uh, sometimes there'll be a, a security screw. Um, in this case, they're a security torque screw. And so you want to make sure that you have the appropriate tool for that. Um, so you take the screws out and then you want to carefully pull straight up. Now, a mass airflow sensor will have uh, one or more very, very fine wires. These wires are usually made out of platinum um, because platinum has a very measurable uh, resistance characteristics. And what we're measuring in this case um, is the, uh, the resistance through the wire as air flows across it. And so if the air, if there's more air or the air is cooler, um, it requires uh, more voltage to keep the, um, the wire at a constant uh, voltage. And so the computer interprets that as a, um, an indication of how much air is moving into the motor. So once it's removed, you can use a, a commercially available carburetor cleaner and you can spray the wires. And this will remove uh, any oxidation um, that might have built up on the wire that would affect uh, its accuracy. And then you want to let this air dry. Um, you don't want to wipe it with anything uh, because, again, you might end up damaging the wires. So once you've sprayed it with the carb cleaner, you want to let it air dry um, and then you can reinstall it. Once you've removed and cleaned the mass airflow sensor, um, you're going to want to check it. Now, different mass airflow sensors from different manufacturers are going to have different acceptable ranges. Uh, but effectively, what you're looking to do is check the resistance between certain pins on the connector. And when you do that, you're going to want to get um, a, a, an ohms range that falls within the spec that the manufacturer specifies. In this case, um, we're getting 11.8 uh, milliohms, which is fine for that particular wire. If you're outside of that range or you're getting no resistance at all, then the mass airflow sensor is most likely damaged and needs to be replaced. Uh, if, however, your resistance ranges are appropriate, um, then the mass airflow sensor should be fine uh, with a good cleaning and uh, it can then be reinstalled.